my big issue with the Democratic Party is that it's like in in conflict with its own agenda, which the Democratic Party is for. They're they're the party of environmentalists, right? But then they're also the party of universal living wage and um, and, and taking money from the rich and giving it to the poor. But what happens when you take money from the rich and give it to the poor? Well, what you do is you take money that would be sitting in a bank account doing nothing, and then you have that money go towards consumption. Because what happens when a poor person gets money? Well, they're going to go buy furniture. They're going to go buy... Would they buy more food? Well, they're already buying food. They might buy better food. I'm not sure. Um, they're going to buy dry erase boards. They're going to go buy televisions. They're going to go buy furniture. They're going to buy clothes, which do our clothes. It, in my ver view, version of the universal living wage, can you buy clothes with my, with my second currency? No. Why? Because they have to be manufactured. Now think about it. The cotton's grown, and then it's transported to Asia, and then someone in Bangladesh is in a factory sewing that requires electricity. And it requires all this effort. And then it has to be get shipped back. So obviously, that's not going to happen. They'll buy computers. They'll buy iPads. They'll buy phones. And so um, I, I, I don't agree with that. But at the same time, I think it's a good thing to encourage the, the luxury item market. So like I said, say that um, you want to buy an iPad Pro. And it costs $3,000. But um, I have a minimum that you have to spend on a computer that is $600 of dirty money. And then after $600, you can use my second currency. So the reason for that is because I think we should encourage high-end manufacturing in the United States, um, not low-end manufacturing, because I don't think we could ever compete in the low-end manu manufacturing department. But I also, but it's also because I'm, I'm scared to death of a, a general universal living wage, but then I also, but, but I do understand the problem of automation and the problem of robots and the problem of putting people out of work because I can go put you, I can put out, I can put half the McDonald's employees out of work. I could possibly put all the McDonald's employees out of work except for one person in the entire store. So we have to make sure that we give people jobs, but we have to be careful about how we do it. And that's why I want to encourage the used items like you, you can buy things that are used with my second currency you can re, you can you can rent things like rent rent tools with the second currency um that that's why i i don't think democrats understand that a lot of their like why have i been so critical about elizabeth warren it's because i think she's trying to do everything at once and if we're gonna try to and, and i think we have to try to do everything at once but we have to be careful about it or else the Democratic Party will destroy the environment. Because like I said, Obama was worse for the environment than probably, I think he was worse than Trump. And Obama was worse for the environment than um, Bush for sure. I know, I know it's hard to, hard to believe because of the way Republicans are, but Obama cut taxes and he, he, he provided massive subsidies to all these all these people. And um, it, I, I think... I think he was a nightmare for the environment. And I don't think the Democratic Party should be a nightmare for the environment. But I do think that poor people need help. And that's why my universal, my, my second currency is the way it is.